do this episode. Oh, oh, spider, 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 spider. Come here, spiders. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game. Whoa, <laughs> did y'all just see that? What up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, back again, jumping back into Imperial Galactic Survival. Did you see this? Uh, <laughs> yo, you see him just spawn in right here on top of me? Yo, this golem just spawn in right on top of me. Uh, yo, I couldn't even do a proper intro. I wanted y'all to see that. I was actually preparing. <laughs> what up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, back again, jumping back into Imperial Galactic Survival. Man, this snow star is like, yo, this has been different. This has been different. This has been wild, and it has been entertaining. Shout out to Will Helmus. If you want to join in on the snow star, check in the description. It is in there. What I've realized on this uh, snow star on this planet is I, I, I don't have a lot of time to waste. I got to make some decisions. I have to make them fast. I have to make some moves. And um, yeah, it's it's really real right now. It is really real. I'm gonna fix this right now. I figured it's probably bugging some people. Uh, last playthrough, so let me just even that out. Bam. Nobody said anything in the comments yet, but it was irking me, so I was like, All right, I'm gonna eventually fix that. Okay, guys. So let me show you where I'm at real quick and what we're doing. Now look, you see this drone heading my way. There's a drone heading my way. Did I turn the wrong way? Uh, okay, okay, there it is, okay. It's a drone heading my way, and I don't see him. There he is. There he is, there he is, there he is. See, can we, can we, uh, tilt enough to hit him? I gotta get a, uh, auto turret. Oh, man, he moving on me now. Yeah, that's why I'm saying, man, I, I really don't have a lot of time to waste in this playthrough. Okay, I'm hitting them, but my j oh 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 oh, it's not tilting very well. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I was gonna show you before I started getting attacked that there are also Xerax over there. It's a Xerax patrol. Oh man, <laughs> yo, that activity is wild. Uh, so I'm right here, right? This drone is still creeping. It looks like uh, we found another crash DSC mid right here. There's a patrol vessel right over here in this area. I was creeping, so I entered this Xerax, I mean, uh, this Polaris territory. And the Xerax, evidently in this playthrough, the Xerax have taken over a lot of the Polaris territory. Even though it's technically Polaris, they're there and they're lurking. And um, yeah. So I gotta even watch how I'm creeping around here because, yo, the Xerax like they they ain't playing on this planet. Okay, so as I was saying, I don't have time to waste them. Um, I gotta set some some goals. One being, I gotta take out that patrol vessel. I don't. Okay, cobalt deposit. Okay, that's cool. I need some iron. Um, and I've been collecting, so I, I have a bit. Um, what I'm gonna do, and this is what I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, a couple things. I gotta take out that patrol vessel. That's one. Let me get in this view so I can see what's going on. I have a hover, a green hover on the bottom of this thing that I need to take off because it may be affecting things. It's probably helping in some way right now. Let me show y'all this. I didn't realize it. That's one of them old green ones. So I need to get that one off of there. Right, let me watch my back. Um, also, today we gotta take out the PV. And before we do that, we gotta keep moving. I'm gonna bring in an HV that's more of a hauler, right? And then I gotta build, um, I'm either gonna build an SV. Y'all give me y'all opinion on this. I'm gonna either build an SV um, and bring in a blueprint. Uh, probably of the insolence, because I, I like the insolence. And then I bring in a different attack one. Because that's more of a mid-range attack. Okay, I didn't like the way that light was shifting. 
Okay, so say it again. Y'all let me know. I either, I'm either gonna bring in an SV or I'm gonna skip the SV and just bring in my CV as my base and we'll bring in a portable base and I'll just put all my resources toward that. But first I am gonna bring in another HV and that's what we're gonna hopefully do this episode. Oh, oh, spider, 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 spider. Come here, spiders. Oh, oh, it's a pack of y'all, huh? Oh, y'all trying to come at me like that, huh? 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 Where you at, huh? Huh? Thought you were just gonna creep on me, huh? I'm out here trying to live right, trying to find food and such. It was more of y'all. Where you at? Where your boys at? Where your boys at? I seen more of y'all. I don't know where they at, y'all. I'm sitting there trying to talk calmly. Peacefully. There you go. There go the other one. Come here. Oh, I'm coming for you. Oh, I'll meet you where you at. I'm going to meet you where you at. Yeah. Yeah. Is it some more? It looked like it was about five of y'all. It looked like it was about five of y'all. Let me get that. Let me get that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. What you thought? There you go. What you thought you thought? Huh? Y'all excuse me. Now back to a more calm and pleasant tone. As I said, <laughs> we're trying to decide if we want to build the SV first or go straight to the CV. And it'll just be more of my mobile base. Um, so, I, I don't know. I'm debating. I'm debating. Y'all let me know, but I'm going to decide one way or the other. I was initially thinking SV. I do the SV, and then I take out the PV. Um, once again, it's a mid-range. It ain't like a heavy attack fighter. I don't know how how many, uh, how many, weaponized, how well defended that uh, PV is. Uh, look, uh, Oh, 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 drone, 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 like this thing is not drone ready. Okay, doggone it. Like they is on me out here, man. They is on me out here. Okay, okay, uh, and that did not look like a, a low level weak drone. That looked like a large drone. And see, this thing doesn't tilt very well. This thing doesn't tilt very well. And I think that may be, dude, look. Oh, man, look, some of my rear is gone. You see that? It knocked off some of my blocks. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do because I got to get a better HV. This thing was cool for scouting. It was cool for getting me out of the initial area uh, where we started at down here. But I, I got to get more. Uh, like, this ain't going to work. This ain't going to cut it. So I have enough resources that I can either build my own better HV or um, blueprint in one. So this is what I'm gonna show y'all. Let me show you that because I, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely need some help. And again, uh, excuse me, I am still a little under the weather, man. Getting a little better. Uh, it was more of my sinus and you know my nasal with the coughing and, and these things of that nature. Now it's moving and shifting <laughs> to my stomach too. But anyway, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, man. Y'all just sent up them good vibes for me. So the PB was kind of in this area, right near my skate pod. And I am concerned that it is going to continue and go to where I cord that DSE. I don't know like their tracking capabilities, the same way they send drones at your base once you make a base. I don't know if the PV has the same tracking and it's going down there. So what I'm about to do is go down here, check on the DSE. If the PV is still over here in this area, I'm gonna go here like I feel like we gotta keep moving. We're gonna have to keep moving. I'm gonna get here, I'm gonna take all of the resources that I have, and if I gotta break down more of this DSC, and then I'm gonna uh, bring in this HV. And like I said, let me show you the HV. So we're gonna bring in this HV. It's the Hauler MK3. The Hauler MK3 is by Dr. Doom. Shout out to Dr. Doom. He was coming through, uh, coming through supporting in the Discord, man. So if you pop through, you show off your bills, man. I see by getting you in here, especially if it's something that I need in the series. Because as you see, the different needs, <laughs> yo, they you never know what you're going to need and when, man. So, yeah. So, we're going to try that out. It's a hauler. 
and I figured that will help me do a lot of transporting. I think it has about 20, uh, maybe about 20 um, in capacity, 20,000. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but it's a decent amount. And then if we have to, um, I'll move, get the hauler. And if it stays in this area, or if it's moved down here because it's trying to knock this out, I'm gonna move to this DSC. Swap, uh, swap locations, move more north. Cause we want to get to north anyway. And uh, with that one, it's better defended. The hauler, the hauler does have uh, auto turrets already on it. You see, it doesn't take a lot. Only 400 carbon substrate, 357 copper, 342 uh, silicone cobalt. All of that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, bring that in. I start dumping those in. Like I said, so I'm gonna try to make it back. And I'm gonna see if we see. See if we see that patrol vessel. Yeah, man, it's getting real out here. This thing has tore up that, that carbon substrate. Like, it's not very tough. Either that or I need some more layers. And like I said, hopefully we won't get shot up by this PV. Because I really don't know where it is at this point. And it was getting low, too. It was getting low to the ground. Okay, guys. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and uh, when I get there, if I see the PV, we'll jump back in. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep going to the base and um, I'll holler y'all when we get there. Okay, guys. I'm rolling up on my escape pod, which wasn't too far from the PV, and I do not see it. So again, I'm not sure what direction this PV has headed. I am kind of waiting to see him just pop in somewhere. He may have already started attacking that DSC. Like, who knows? Because I was over by these mountains when I first saw it. So we're moving with caution. We're moving with caution. Okay, guys, I don't see the patrol vessels hovering and blowing up my base. That's a good sign for now. Let me make sure. Again, I don't feel... This, this doesn't really give me that much comfort, though. Like, I feel like at any moment, it could be approaching, so... We're really not gonna waste a lot of time here. Whew! So I'm gonna pull in here and park. We gonna look at our uh, look at our uh, HV real quick, and then we'll uh, get ready for our next move. Uh, get in here. There we go. Slow it down. There we go. There we go. We too high. All right, so let's examine. Okay. Yeah, so it blew off one container extension that was sitting right there. So we got to replace that. They got me a little annoyed. Okay. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So what we'll do, we'll start dumping. Cool, cool. So I didn't get the bug where it took all my fuel. So that's cool. Because see, I should have plenty of fuel left. Okay, okay, okay. So let me start dumping in some of these resources. Oh, that's actually my craftable, but... Okay, 
so a lot of the stuff I have in here, I'm going to go ahead and dump into the... Oh, excuse me there. Oh, what type of fridge is that? CV based fridge, I can good on that. Okay, oh, man, I don't think these give any resources, do they? No, <laughs> they like, nah, man, you can't do that. You can't do that. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Let's see what this man station does. Okay, a little something, something. Let's see. Uh, let's check out this thruster. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. We'll carry on like that. Uh, let me get some iron blocks churning. Uh, let's see what we need real quick. So we basically need 350 iron, 300 silicone, basically about 400 each. 400 carbon, 350, 350, 300 silicone. Yeah, I start the silicon because we actually got a good amount of that. Then we'll do copper next. The iron, I'm probably going to have to just keep breaking this down. But once again, it's plenty here. you throwing all of this stuff in here this is yeah everything must go this is like a everything must go sale for real for real everything must go okay so i'm gonna continue dumping this stuff in and then i i see what point we get to uh in a moment all right and we'll be back Okay, guys, we're back. I'm going for a loot fest. We looting everything. If it ain't nailed down. It is getting dumped into. <laughs> uh, I want to keep one of these fridges. Which one? Yeah, if it ain't nailed down, it's getting got. It's getting got. Okay, a couple of these I got broken and open. Sure, I'll mess up the structural integrity. Yeah, man, we can say we really, really need this. Uh, oh, okay, I gotta see where it's. 
dumping these. I would like to keep some of these sentry guns, but uh, where is it going? Where is it going? What are we connected to? The HV? Oh, okay. Oh, that's why my weight limit was uh, going up or enacting so fast because of the HV. I'll go there. Hate that it does that sometimes. I say if it is not nailed down. If it is not nailed down. this point is whatever I do need these grow plots but let's see if I can get these yeah um 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 you know what I need to change my tether point though I don't want all this going in here I'm gonna put this in temp storage for right now uh well you know what no I want to keep that there Put that in temp storage. Uh, my fault. We'll leave these. This is my joint where I craft. I need to move these because once I untether, they go back into the box that you attached to. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to tether into which one? To the input? I'm gonna do it in the storage temp just because I'm picking a lot of this up. And since I'm keeping them whole blocks, which helps cut down the time. So in case you don't know, it's if, oh, 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 oops. Instead of just doing raw resources, if you, you know, take whole blocks and you dump them in, you get, um, I think it shaves the time down more if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I do need all these blocks. So let me get these. Let me get these. Let me get these. Yeah. And it's one that should be hidden right there. We want it all. We want it all. Oh, now I didn't realize there was a couple more grow plots under here. Good, good, good. Oh, it's more grow plots. No, no, no. Okay, that's just the metal. I about to say. I was about to say. Oh, it is some more grow plots, guys. Doggone it. I was about to leave these. I'm not putting the grow plots in. I'm going to keep those for our base. Or either to use on a uh, CV build. Okay. Just making sure we ain't missing anything. Just making sure we ain't missing anything. All right, let's get all of this. I really am going after the steel more than anything at this moment. Uh, going after the steel more than anything at this moment. And I'm just collecting the grow plots because we need the grow plots. Oh, I do want to keep that tech equipment though. Let me stack those. Everything must go. I want to get these off my person. Okay, let's switch this over. There we go. Okay, cool.
Yeah, I'm gonna get more of this. I use this other. Uh, I actually was starting to use this other one to craft. Where'd the stuff go? Did it use all my iron already? Okay, to craft iron ingots. I started crafting iron ingots in this one, and it used up all of my iron actually. And here we should have uh, okay, copper. Where's the silicone? Where's the silicone output? Oh, silicone. Ooh, nine ninety nine. Yikes! I didn't mean to use that much, but uh, cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we should be ready. Uh, the carbon substrate. I do need that. I need about 400 of that. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh, even though my crust stone is looking light, we have plenty of crust stone that we can move in. Pretty sure of that. Uh, even in my HV. If not, that's not a big deal. I know I can get more of that. I thought I had more. There we go. So I know I had more crust stone on me. I think it may have stopped crafting. Oh, no, no, it didn't. Plant fibers and stone dust. Do we got enough wood? Yeah, we got enough of that. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start dumping this in. That's the copper, that's the iron. More than enough silicon. I really overestimated this. I knew I had enough, but like I said, I didn't know it was uh, that much. But yeah, this is a technique for all y'all who haven't seen this done. When you're ready to build some of your vessels. I mean, I could just go straight to my CV. Because I even have that scosium and all of that. Do I want to jump straight to the CV? Uh, hold on. Let me let me look at my CV real quick. Let me see what the requirements are for the Turtleback Two. Oh, okay, I need two thousand. Eh, nah, I don't have enough. Oh, and it's unlocked level twenty. Okay, but this is what we're gonna bring in uh, eventually. Let's go back to the factory. All right, so we're gonna start here. We're gonna start here. Uh, okay, bam. That was more than enough too. See copper two eighty three. We'll do half. Bam! There we go. So we're gonna do half of that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We had plenty with the silicon. This gonna go to the next one, and then the carbon substrate we're waiting on. We good on the cobalt and sathium. Okay, cool. We got more than enough of that, too. So, we'll go ahead and stop this. Yeah, 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 yeah. A uh, yeah, a uh, yeah, a uh, yeah. All right, cool. I'm happy about this. I'm happy about this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's make sure that the patrol vessel ain't get close. Uh, the patrol vessel. All right, cool. So we have a much better hollow. And this should help us to go in some of those Polaris territories. And hopefully, hopefully uh, defend ourselves against... Let's start that production. 26 minutes, cool. Defend ourselves against a lot of those Polaris who are out there trying to give us a hard time. All right, good, good. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. We're making progress, guys. We are making much progress. Uh, okay, so now we wanna we're gonna put these back in. At least we know we resourced up. I do need to get some more iron ore though, because I can't remember some things that you craft don't actually require the ingots, so they actually require raw ore. But most things turn into ingots first, if I'm not mistaken. We have a few grow plots, so we'll still break this down some more. Get everything that this thing has to offer. Like we're gonna break this down like you do the uh, MS Titan. I'm going to use all this for the steel. And then I'm going to also... Um, I am going to also break down that other one that we found. And Will Helmus, shout out to Will Helmus once again for this start. He actually said that there is a third MS Titan and plenty more POIs. So we'll have plenty of resources on this planet. We're going to have a lot of fun with this planet. 
Like, I'm gonna really take my time again, like I was even doing with the other uh, playthrough. When I first used to play Imperion, it was just a rush to get into space. Um, this one isn't gonna be a rush. We're really gonna develop Alice's story and our path on this planet. And just kind of see how it goes, try to conquer as much of it as we can. And you know, we will eventually hit space, don't get me wrong. We'll see some other planets. Um, I know we'll need, uh, what is it? So we got Sathium. And Neodymium. I know we'll need um, Eristrium. And it's the other one. It's slipping my mind right now. Eristrium and Zascosium. I know we'll need those. That'll give us the reason to, uh, you know, hit some of those other planets. Uh, get up out of here and, and journey on, carry on as we will do. So, yeah, and I actually haven't even looked at the uh, sector map yet to see what is close. But, yeah, we'll, we'll find that out. We'll find that out as we carry on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, man. You got to remember that structural integrity. You got to remember that structural integrity. So, yeah, we definitely got to keep collecting. I'm, I'm going to break down all of this, as I was saying, man. Um, Pretty much till I get tired of uh, breaking this down gonna collect all of uh this dsc mid it is a really really great poi to break down as far as all these resources you know plenty of iron um all of the resources especially with a lot of the parts that are in it um because they'll have other you know elements that you'll need you know like the cobalt uh like the zascosium things of that nature has a lot of thrusters and things of that so yeah we're gonna break down the others as well yeah man but I'm really liking the way this is coming along. Really glad we got all the resources together that we needed. I said, I'm going to get all these growth plots. I'm going to break all these down. Um, and that way, when we do decide to do a base or if we make some type of adjustments to our um, CV, then we can, as you see, see, I, a little bit more time. It's going to take some time. Um, I was just gonna fast forward and bring this in, but since the video is, uh, yeah, since we're shoot, a decent amount of time into this video, it's about time to wrap it up. So what I'm gonna do, I said I did want to bring it in because I want to, you know, show it off a little bit, you know, get a good look around, show the specs and the stats of this HV that I'm gonna bring in. I'm gonna do it on the next episode, and yeah, that way we can just start straight out with it. Uh, plus it's starting to get dark. I had actually received a call from work, so I had to sit here for a minute. Um, like I told you, I, I'm not feeling good. I had to stay out. They was like, man, you had to get out of here. You ain't making us sick. <laughs> so uh, yesterday and today, I, I've been out. And I actually got a show to go to for y'all for y'all who's sticking around while we just chit-chatting. I'm going to see Dave Chappelle uh, for all those who are, who are fans um, and for those who just know, know who he is. Um, he gonna be in town. We got the all-star game here in Charlotte. So Yeah, man, go check that out. Have a little fun. That'll be my one of my all-star festivities I may go downtown or something check that out, but You know, like I said with that being said, I'm gonna continue breaking this down um, We'll let the blueprint come in and then I'll just wait till the Sun comes back up just so uh, you know we can have it nice and bright and shiny and figure out where exactly we want to um i need a, a little spot a little location because this one is buried differently my other one's in the water so um the second level was actually uh the, like the first floor it was at the ground and then a lot of this what i'm in now was buried under the water so this being the first floor the the upper part you know is suspended in the air so i may build a platform up there or, or something y'all see what i'm talking about when we come back man but yeah either way we'll bring it in even if it's just a little flat area right here we'll check it out and that what that's going to be is our hauler hv we're going to um it's going to come in handy because like i said i'm breaking all of this down we're going to take a lot of this with us um it has a decent storage capacity i still think it may take a trip or two and once again it's much better defended but I can haul everything, bring all this down, haul it, and take it to where we'll start our base somewhere in the north. We're gonna find out what is up north, and that'll be where we start our base. Um, that way we can work with some solar power too, and hopefully fuel our base and let it be self-sufficient without um, 
having to use as much of the, the, the fuel packs, you know, and the generators. We will if we have to, but I'm gonna try to, to do a, um, try to do a solar power base. And like I said, I, I haven't done a lot of that, so you guys have to hit me in the comment box, chime in so I can get a good efficient solar power base, but since it's gonna start out small, it should be fairly easy to make it sustain until I make it bigger. And then, you know, of course I'm gonna need uh, a better, more refined, or more, you know, solar panel. So, that's what's up, man. Y'all hit me in the comment box, man. Hit me with any tips, any ideas, any suggestions. You know, I always appreciate that. Uh, I'm gonna go down here. This was a little med bay. Yeah, I forgot about this. I'm gonna get all of this, too. Uh, yeah, this med bay has some parts and some deco that we need that we can use to keep ourselves healed in our new base. But uh, I am probably gonna do the CV, though, as I said. So, it, it, we may do the mobile base. It just depends on when we attack that SV. So hit me in the comments box as well. Let me know you think SV first and then try to take out the PV or stay kind of nomadic. We're bringing the CV um, after we do the HV. And yeah, we'll work it out like that, man. And we'll just use the cargo HV to keep collecting and uh, use that as our supply station of sorts, all right? All right, guys, so I'm gonna wrap it up, man. Charles Macro, Imperial Galactic Survival. Yo, we are making progress, and I'm really happy about that, man. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game.